Hey guys, so it is Monday the 20th of August. I'm tired because I don't ever get up th this early and it's literally 10 in the morning, so that's that. But I'm on my way. Trey's taking me to my first day of class. I only have one class on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and it's a statistics class that I failed a year ago because I'm really bad at math. So. I'm gonna try to film a week in my life. I guess I should tell you what I'm filming. So I'm gonna try to just kind of film like the mo like the important things of my week and like what a weekly thing is gonna be for the next however many days. This is my senior year of school. It's my last semester in like actual school. So I'm gonna go because we're almost to campus and I'm not gonna be filming when there's all these cars so I will see you guys as soon as I'm doing something else it is still Monday the I don't know what day it is the 20th I think um, I literally have not vlogged all day long I got done with school went home took a nap until like 3 30 we kind of just sat there I watched YouTube videos and then we just went grocery shopping we're gonna try to um, do like a juice cleanse, like a 10 day juice cleanse. I don't know how well that's gonna work or how long that'll be, but um, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna actually try to drink it tonight and see if I like it so this I can see if I even want to do it. I've been hot literally all day and it's so hot in this car right now. But yeah, we just got done grocery shopping, so um, we're gonna try the juice cleanse and then that's pretty much it. <laughs> So it's 1.39 in the morning. I have class tomorrow at 9 and I'm gonna get up to shower. Tomorrow's like my full day of classes. Mondays are usually going to be like extremely boring. I don't ever do anything on Mondays, but I'm gonna go to bed now so that I can get up in the morning. I will see you guys soon. It's 8.53 in the morning. I'm on my way to my like full day of classes Trey's taking me again because he has the next one out two days off um today and tomorrow um and you're only off today yeah. oh well today he has off so he's taking me it's only like a five minute drive but on my campus we don't have a lot of parking because I keep deciding to build giant ass buildings and spend millions of dollars on that instead of give us students fucking parking even though we pay for a parking pass but I got like three hours of sleep last night. I'm really fucking tired. And I feel like we're literally just gonna go over the syllabus and all my classes and get out early because all the teachers already know us and we already know them. Because it's all my social classes and I've like met all the teachers and taken them already. So I feel like it's kind of pointless to go the first week of school, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna go though because we're getting on campus now, so that means people can see me. So I'll try to film on campus a little bit, but not much because I'm embarrassed. So bye. I have my statistics class from 10:30 to 11:20. I just spent the last 10 minutes circling this parking lot just waiting for a parking spot so now that i found it i have to walk all the way to my class so i need to leave right now because if not i'm gonna be late and that's gonna suck uh it's 10 16 i think i can get there in time at 10 30 so um i have encounter today which is like our church like it's like a youth group basically for college students um i also have therapy at 2 p.m and that's basically all for today so i will try to film some of my day
it's 11:40 something. Um, Trey's gonna be home for lunch any minute. We don't really have much food right now. Even though we just went grocery shopping, we just don't have food for lunch. So I ordered pizza from Pizza Hut. So I'm gonna go grab that and hopefully he will be here soon so that the pizza doesn't get cold or hopefully he doesn't get here before me so then he won't eat anything. And if he does, hopefully he'll just call me and ask me what I want for lunch and where I'm at. But yeah, I'm gonna go now so I can drive and not be doing this. <laughs> So I just got home. Now I'm waiting for Trey to get home. I just fed the kitty cat. So I'm going to wait till Trey gets here to eat some pizza. Then I have therapy at two, so I have two hours. So I'll probably eat lunch, hang out with Trey for his lunch break, and then I'm probably gonna take a little nap before my therapy appointment because I'm very tired. Speak of the devil. So he's home, so yeah, we're gonna eat lunch and yeah. Trey just left and went back to work. I am going to lay here and take a nap. I'm watching Pink Sparkles. See, I'm just gonna take a nap. We're kinda just lay here and relax a little bit, kinda. Because this is the week that school started, I'm literally dying because I'm so used to staying up to like six or seven and sleeping. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to my like schedule. <sighs> I kinda wish I didn't have therapy today so I could just sleep until Trey gets home at four. <laughs> like the whole week is of me just going to school and then what we do outside, we just haven't been doing anything because school started. Like it takes me a minute to get used to that routine again. So that's why I haven't been filming. It's not that like I don't want to. I'm gonna shut up now so that I can take a nap. I uh, will see you guys soon. It is 1.46. I took like a 20 minute nap. Now I'm just sitting here in front of my campus. <sighs> I don't really want to go to therapy today. I don't know why. I think I just am tired so I would rather just sleep. But I guess that I have no choice. Currently walking to therapy. It's really quiet here and there's not very many people on campus. So it's actually really pretty. But I figured I would film just a few seconds just because it's pretty and it's raining so I'm gonna go because now there's people coming. Okay, it's a little after 3. It's like 3.20 or like 3.15, something like that. Just got out of therapy. It was actually very good. I feel a lot better. Now I'm at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go in and look around and me and Sammy are doing something so I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna say what because it'll be a surprise on my channel. But because I don't know if she wants me to tell what we're doing yet. But um, I'm gonna go possibly go buy some things for that. I'm gonna go look and see what there is and some decorations. Whatever, I don't know, I'm gonna go see what they have even though it was like just in Dollar Tree like a week ago. And you guys will have already seen it but I already have a video scheduled for this coming Friday for my Dollar Tree haul that I did like uh, the 17th or something. I don't remember when, it was like the 17th or 15th night recorded it and bought everything and now it's the 22nd and I'm coming back in there because I have an obsession and Trey's gonna be like what the fuck. I'm gonna go because people are starting to pull in I'm gonna go in so I will see you guys soon. Okay well just got done. I got four bags. I spent $45. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree and kind of what I'm gonna be using this stuff for. It's 6.53, um, Encounter Church is 7.15, and I'm here with Trey, so we are on our way. So I will try to record as much as I can, but it's gonna be awkward to like hold a camera. <laughs>
and you'll talk to individuals, brother, here and you'll say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know the plan that God has for me. And my response back to you is, well, how much are you spending time with the one that has the plan? And so many of you are trying to continue to get closer and closer, and that is your goal. But you're still chained so heavily, and it's weighing you down, and it's hurting you, and you can't break free from the hurt in your life. And you're struggling to get away, and you don't realize why you can't get away. And Jesus is in our midst saying, if you'll bring it to me, I'm a chain breaker. Why are you so chained down? Because not only did you chain down, not only did somebody hurt you, if he came behind it and said, and knew what you were capable of, and he believed in what God had called you to do more than what you think that you are called to do, and then so he started playing the lies in your life, and you started believing the lie, and they became truths in your life, and then we added another chain, and then we added another chain, and then we added another chain, and then you were so heavy, but you got so used to being bogged down, you got so used to being hungry, you got so used to being hurt, but you didn't even realize you had so much around. But I wonder how many of you sit there that you were in chains and you were in prison for about the emotional part. And you continue to think that I will just get over it. Or somebody told you something, it'll be all right. Just get over it. Don't get over it. Bring it to Jesus. But what's controlling you? I'm going to tell you what's controlling you. Can I give you a hint? Can I give you a hint? It's when you're laying in bed at night and you're all alone and you hear it whisper at you. I ain't trying to get over spiritual. I ain't trying to get over freaky here. I'm just telling you, and you know that it's true. Those things when you don't want to tell anybody about. Those hurts that you won't speak to anybody about. Those things when they come up and you hear it calling your name. You thought you got over it, and maybe you went months. Maybe you went a year. Maybe you went two years. But then you laid there, and you got quiet, and you heard it whispering your name, and you trembled because the chains rattled, and they pulled you back to where the enemy wanted you, not where Jesus was trying to take you. I kind of hope she's under the. I bet she's just sitting on the porch. Oh, kitty. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hello, kitty. What you doing? You want inside? I'm hungry. Oh, you want the door locked? Nope. Stretch. All right, well, I just got back from counter. Um, me and Trey are gonna eat dinner now. Trey's gonna have um, a juice cleanse thing. I'm gonna have the rest of, not the rest of, but, um, aw, we need to go get drinks. Are we out? Yeah. All right, day in your life. <laughs> We're gonna go get um, drinks because we are not good humans and can't just drink water. But, just got back from Encounter. I tried to record as much as I could, but it was completely packed. Okay, kitty, bye. And it was extremely awkward to film, so I didn't film a whole lot, but I filmed enough, I think, for you to kind of get the gist of what Encounter is. Um, so, we're gonna go to a gas station and get drinks. Look at Trey. Pretending that he opens the door for me when he literally never has. And I was just gonna do a meme and then it didn't work. So no, I'm not. We're oh. here at Phillips 66. Squirrel. Ooh, the squirtle. That's what I used to call squirrels when I was a kid because I was really dumb. And my brother watched Pokemon or something and made me think that that's what they were actually called. So yeah. Oh well, they're about to hear this noise. It's not that bad. I wish no. it was. So, it is 1.34 p.m. on Thursday. Last night I didn't vlog um, anything past like the church stuff. Just because we had dinner and then watched YouTube and Trey went to bed and I stayed up till like six in the morning. Apparently I forgot to set my alarms last night so I slept through and missed all of my classes today. 
So that sucks, but I'm gonna go to Goodwill and look around, maybe buy some clothes, um, maybe kind of see what they have for decor. I want to try to find like a box to put letters in for my wedding and like signs and stuff like that. I'm just gonna kind of look around and see what they have. So, and I might go to Hobby Lobby. So, um, if I have the guts, I will film in both those places, but probably not. All right, I'm gonna go because it's hot and I'm turning this AC on so you can't hear me. All right. Okay, so I went to Goodwill and I also went to Hobby Lobby. So yeah, that's what I did today. Um, basically, haven't been doing anything other than that. It's like 5.30. We're gonna have supper sometime soon. Well, probably around 7.30 or so actually. And then that'll be pretty much it for today. I haven't been doing very much, but Hopefully you guys don't mind. I've been just doing a lot of like wedding planning and wedding thinking, but I'm gonna go just because I want to watch a few videos. I found a really cool YouTuber. Her name is Jamie Wolfer. She's a wedding coordinator and she has like an entire channel dedicated to wedding planning and wedding tricks and tips and hacks and what not to buy, what to buy what your reception like what your guests care about what they don't care about like i just i don't know i'm very excited about her channel i really enjoy it so that's what i've been watching so i'm gonna go watch that and then if something else happens then i will update you guys but for now this is it like my week is very boring so sorry that nothing's been like too exciting i would have taken you in goodwill but my goodwill here in my town is so small that it would have been way too awkward to bring the camera and talk to you guys i guess i could have brought it in and at least just filmed what i was looking at but i didn't um my phone actually would have been a better option but my phone's completely full right now because i have been recording a few clips on there as well and my phone has like very low data it has like 15 gigabytes if even that so yeah um but I went to Hobby Lobby and spent literally like an hour and a half just going through that his and her section just trying to find things that were 50% off and that I needed and thought was worth buying right now. But alright, I'm gonna go now so um, hopefully I will see you guys in a clip that's not so boring.